हॉन्टेड स्कूल पार्ट टू ऑफन एंड जेलस वी गेट इन वॉल्व इन द रेस टू गेट अड ऑफ द अदर बट समटाइम्स इन दिस रेस वी चूज सच अ पार्ट विच कॉस्ट अस अ लॉट आई ऑल्सो पेड अ सिमिलर प्राइस विच आई रिग्रेट टिल डेट हे सैम यू नो माई फादर हैज बॉट मी अ न्यू साइकिल इन द जॉय ऑफ कमिंग फर्स्ट इन क्लास वाह रौनक This was nothing new which Ronak told me. He always came first in class due to which his father used to buy him the things of his choice. It had been only a few years since he got admission in the school due to which I felt that he must have taught well in his previous school. When I asked him about this he said It is not that I was intelligent from the beginning. I used to study in the school earlier. and at that time i was more worthless than you because of which i changed my school but in that new school ronak stopped while saying this a look of sadness appeared on his face indicating that something untoward happened he said some evil force had subdued him and he could get out of the effect of that evil force with a great difficulty i could not believe his words at all because the people of the village often talk about such even power i felt that he is insecure about what if i overtake him because of this he is telling a lie to me i took all the information from him about the school and he told me everything in detail don't even think to go there by any chance i did not listen to him and insisted to my father after reaching home that he should change my school immediately so that i also become smart i told him everything about the school except the evil power i told him everything about the school except the evil power because i knew that they would not send me to that school knowing all this my father somehow agreed and the next day he took me for admission in that new school but it looked more like a ruin than a school there was silence all around There was neither the voice of any child nor any teacher. Son, I think the school is closed now. Let's go back home. I too became very sad to see all this. As we were about to go back, we heard a voice from behind. Have you came here for admission? We turned and saw a woman who was in her 30s standing in front of us. She told us that she is a teacher. who used to teach in the same school when papa asked her about the silence in school she said everyone had an early break because of some work well i didn't pay much attention to all these things when papa was completing all the formalities of my admission i heard a sound from the room i looked at my father but he was completely normal he probably didn't hear the sound i followed that voice in fear while being very nervous i was very scared by what i saw blood was spread everywhere in the class there were marks of being dragged with blood all this was not enough then i saw many bones lying in one corner i was about to run away but suddenly the bones started flying around me I screamed loudly and closed my eyes. After some time, when I opened my eyes, there was nothing in the class. The class was completely normal. Then I heard my father's voice. "Hey Sam, where are you?" I immediately went to Papa, but I didn't tell him anything because I was blind in the race of becoming more intelligent than Rona. If I had told him he would have refused to send me to the school. Papa said that from the next day I can go to school. I was very happy hearing this. The next day when I went to school I saw that none of the children had come to school. I thought maybe I was late. I looked at the clock but I had arrived long before the time. I was thinking all this when I heard the teacher's voice. Sam What are you doing outside? Come inside quickly. 
I went to the class behind the teacher. There were only a few children in the class who were sitting very quietly. I sat at a desk, but I heard screaming again. I was very upset, but the teacher did not respond to my reaction. The teacher started teaching in the class, but I was not able to pay attention at all. Somehow, my day passed. After reaching home, I did not have the courage to tell the truth to my father because I had insisted on the new school from him. Many days passed like this. I was slowly getting very upset now. Sometimes I start shouting at home on small things. Sometimes I used to cry while sitting alone at home. The effect of all these things was starting to affect my studies as well. I was now more worthless than before. Sam, what is all this? Why are you not paying attention to your studies? Now I have to talk to your teacher only. What would I tell my father? The fault was all mine. Then whatever happened the next day broke me more from inside. The next day I was very scared sitting in the class. After some time, I saw that my father came out of the class and called the teacher. But the teacher ignored him. He called the teacher many times. But the teacher was not even looking at him. I was very surprised to see this. When I stood and told the teacher about my father, then she said, there is no one. You sit quietly. When my father stepped into the class, the teacher looked at him angrily and she turned into a witch. With this, the children sitting in the class disappeared laughing and laughed. Seeing this, I was totally stunned. Mm. How dare you enter my class without my permission? Huh? Papa was also very scared after seeing the witch. I immediately ran up to him and hid behind him. A, 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 a witch? What do you want? I want revenge. <gasps> Saying this, the witch looked at me. Her eyes were completely red. She chanted a mantra and in no time my body got stiff. Her large-scale line on the desk turned into a magical line. I automatically started walking to the desk and I grabbed that magical knife. After this, she asked me to attack my father. I was very shocked to hear this. I tried my best not to listen to her, but it didn't help. I went to my father with a knife and started hurting him. Papa also tried a lot to stop me. Meanwhile, he got hurt a lot. I will take revenge on Ronak from you guys too. <laughs> the witch told that she wanted to make children's future bright. But after the story of Ronak, she started hating children. And whoever takes admission in her school, she takes revenge from them. Now I understood that the evil power that Ronak was telling me about was none other than the witch. But it was too late then. I was attacking my father non-stop with tears in my eyes. At that time, my father came up with an idea. He immediately ran towards the storeroom of the school and I too was following him unwillingly. <laughs> This is not going to be of any use now. <laughs> I saw that Papa was looking for something in the storeroom. While searching, his eyes fell on a can of kerosene oil. He picked it up and started sprinkling it in every room of the school. I understood his idea, but I was afraid that whether that idea would work or not. After sprinkling kerosene everywhere, he came out of the school, so that I also come outside while following him. In no time, he set the school on fire. The whole school started blazing with fire. Not only this, we heard the sound of the witch's torment in the school. We saw many shining lights from the fire going into the air. This was saying thank you to us. Perhaps they were all the children who had been witches hunt. After the witch left, her control over me also ended. 
Papa, please forgive me. <laughs> Son, why are you apologizing? I told him about the whole matter. After being jealous of Ronak and even after knowing everything, I insisted on changing the school due to which along with me, my father's life was also in danger. I thought that my father would definitely scold me. But on the contrary, he said, Never mind son, everything is fine now. Come on, let's go home. Without books, I learned the moral value that we should never be jealous of others, while we should work hard to improve ourselves, which I also did. After the incident that day, I worked very hard and finally got a good result. Both me and Rona came first in the class, so that not only did I rectify my mistake, but also brought laurels to my family. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment. And to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.